listen, I already know what this is about. Now I came down to your office so many times answering all your questions. Man, I ain't got nothing else for you. Now either you're gonna charge me or you're gonna let me go. But what I'm not gonna keep doing, I'm not gonna keep running back and forth here telling you something I don't know. Now let me change my white balance because I'm at 990 so you understand where I'm coming from, right? Now coming to this trap house, you gotta understand when you're in a trap house, there's no getting out the trap house, man. You're gonna stay in a trap house until. Now you come to the trap house, there's one thing you got to understand, man. You're gonna have to understand that being in this trap house, it's a lot of things that's coming. Don't have time to be playing games, man. Now, Roscoe told me what was going on. And I've got to think to myself, it can't be my man's doing this out here in the streets. It can't be my man's out here that's nickel and diming these people out here just to move up past me. Now, if I'm tripping, I'm tripping. But word on the street, word on the street that you fucking up my money. Word on the street is that you backdoor me. Now, if that's not true, you tell me right here. And if it is true, still tell me. So you let me know, man. Do I got to look out for the back door or what, man? Listen, you got one more chance. You got one more time, because if you keep fucking up my money, it's not going to be nice, man. Word of bond. So why are we here today? Why are we here today? Why do I got to waste my time coming here where I could be home doing something? Watching TV is watching uh, Netflix or some shit, man. But instead, you got me down here. Now, what is the problem out there that you can't handle that I got to step in and take care of business for you? You tell me that. Because I'm sick and tired of getting called on for some dumb shit, man. Now, if you serious about what you're talking about and you want to make this happen, and you think you can do it? Let me know right now. And I'll get up and walk off. But if you need help taking care of this little disaster that you done started, if you need help with this, then you can consider yourself off the team. Permanently. Now tell me, what you want me to do? <laughs> That's what I thought, man. You handle the business. And you call me and let me know once the minute's taken care of, alright? <laughs> alright, so we back to the another lighting example here. Right above me, I got the barn doors on the 300D aperture shining down, hitting a table. I got a black table but i use like a black wood cabinet just so i can get that lift here because if i only had the black table it would be dark so i'm going to show you right now i'm going to move this little wood out the way so you can see underneath how it's going to kind of disappear so you see that so that's because i only have a black table here but i put this piece of wood underneath to, put, to act like a brown table to kind of give me a lift there Alright, um, also I got negative feel over here camera side as well just so I won't get too much light bouncing off the wall. I believe if I move that ne negative feel I can have a little bit more light there but you know that's good there. Um, and then that's it. I got the window back there, got the blinds closed. So this is the look here.